Hey everyone, it's Colette of A Trans by Deaf uh, coming at you with this week's topic which is about the side effects are of HRT, specifically um, if you experience any sort of pain in your nether regions uh, because of HRT and uh, any other side effects that you might, um, might have from taking HRT. Um, the positives, the positive side effects that I've had from taking HRT is um, soft skin, of course. I've had, um, since I switched to injectables, I've had a dramatic uh, breast growth, which is pretty awesome. Um, less body hair growth, which is fabulous. More growth on my head, which has been really good. Um, oh, and the biggest thing for me is the mental aspect. Like, I feel much calmer, and I feel like... I'm really living in my body, if that makes sense. Like before, I felt like I was just living outside of it. And with hormones, I feel like I'm really connected. So that's been a, a really positive aspect of HRT. Some other parts of it which have been surprising, and the first thing is, um, Kathy mentioned this in her video, you won't really have a sex drive. <laughs> if you're taking Spiro, um, that pretty much takes care of that. Um, but I've been on hormones now for close to five years. And I'm starting to feel the um, the urge again. <laughs> well, I have been for a while. Like I think, I think your body just goes through an adjustment period. So other people don't experience that. I did. Like I've had. Like it, your your brain just changes. That's all I can really say. It just changes dramatically from from what you used to think before to where you are now. So especially in terms of sex, especially um, when you had testosterone in your body um, to now having estrogen. It's just a whole different ball of wax. I mean, that could be a discussion in and on itself. <laughs> um, some other aspects that were surprising are um, I actually have felt pain in my testicles. And I don't know if that had something to do with my dosage being too low. It wasn't constant. It would just be like random. Like random weird sensation that would go away. It wouldn't last a long time. I don't know what that was about. Um, and my endocrinologist and doctor told me not to worry about it. Since I switched to injectables and my dosage chain, I, that hasn't happened. So I don't know really <laughs> what was causing that. Um... One of the other things that I've experienced? Oh, a big thing that Kathy touched on is there's certain things mentally that you'll have to adjust to, especially um, emotional, <laughs> because for me, I was lucky. I didn't really become like a big basket case because of hormones. I've had some friends that got really emotional and would just cry out of nowhere. I do feel more connected emotionally like prior to transition I was already a crier but now it's like more intense like I really feel what I'm feeling I guess you could say um I get very irritable much more so than before on hormones I was um pretty even keel and um hormones have made me a lot calmer mentally but I feel like I'm just more authentic and real like if I don't really like something I tell you that I don't like it and I'm way more honest and I really don't have time for a lot of annoying things. <laughs> I find that my views for patients has um, been shortened. I don't really put up with a lot. And um, yeah, I understand, I understand bitchiness better now <laughs> and it's kind of cool like when you've got a group of girlfriends around you, cis or trans, like I don't know, you don't really take it personal when you're being bitchy to each other, and it's just kind of like, oh, well, you know, she's, whatever, having an off day. Um, men, like my boyfriend, for instance, it's a lot different. The dynamics of your relationship change when you're on HRT, um, and he just kind of leaves the house when I'm in a rage, <laughs> so I know that it's been a big adjustment for him. So that's kind of some of the side effects that I've gone through. I mean, if you have any other specific questions, feel free to ask them in the comments and I will definitely get back to you on that. Um, but yeah, that's about all I have. 
And I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Tomorrow's Friday. Yay! And um, I'll check in with you guys next week. Bye!